Dyson Hoover, Dyson Hoover, ho, 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 ho. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ryan's Corner and happy Christmas Eve guys. Welcome back to day number 24 of our Star Wars Advent Calendar series. I can't believe it's day number 24 already guys, that's flown by hasn't it? Even though I've recorded all of this at the same time. Anyways, let's jump in guys, Christmas Eve, let's go, what's our last build? And it is of course, bang, or 2 d 2 in his Christmas jumper. Holy shit, what a nice little build to end it on. And to round off this calendar, guys, on Christmas Eve, we have ourselves R2-D2 in his Christmas jumper. And this guy looks fantastic. The torso there is really nice, guys. And he also has a C-3PO face, which is really nice. And the partners really well with C-3PO in his R2-D2 jumper. So these guys look really good together. Other than that, there isn't much going on, guys. He has the kind of regular legs. And he also has the normal head that we've come to expect. Nice detail there. And around the back, guys, he also has some more detail there to his jumper with the Republic logo. So that's fantastic. Really, really solid little minifigure here to end the advent calendar on. Overall though guys, I'm super pleased with how this advent calendar turned out. It's definitely my favourite advent calendar to date, including last year's. I think the bills are so much better here and I, I guess as well the fact that it wasn't like uh, subject to a specific team like last year's Mandalorian when they had a bit more freedom to kind of build some stuff. We didn't just get a load of filler bills like the weapons racks and all from last year. We got some great bills guys, we got some great custom minifigures. Um, a few kind of lazy bills in there, a couple of minifigures that I would have liked to have been swapped out or are seeing a bit more kind of creative uh, creativity around I should say. One thing i'm disappointed about guys is the fact that it was like supposed to be this like vacation team and we only really got like two bills that are vacation team that, that was uh, Darth Vader and his sandcastle that's kind of it everything else just feels normal or Christmassy you know and there's a few builds here like the Luke's land speeder that just could have been swapped out for something else if like, we could have gotten that land speeder any other year it would have been this was your chance to do something a bit more fun a bit more creative you know overall though guys I'm really happy with giving this advent calendar an 8 out of 10 for now I think it's a great little advent calendar guys yeah I'm happy with giving it an 8 out of 10 Bang, and there's the last look at R2-D2 there in his Christmas jumper. And there's the last look at everything we got in his advent calendar, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the series. I hope he's had a good laugh with it. I hope he's had some content leading up to Christmas to get you in the festive mood. Let me know in the comments which is your favourite between the Star Wars one and the Marvel one. I hope he's having a deadly Christmas, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this advent calendar and for the whole year. Have a deadly Christmas, but also have a safe Christmas, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, like, subscribing, all that stuff. Until next time, I'll see you soon and stay safe out there.